Recently, I was working with Donovan. He is a developer and somebody who is enrolled in Easel's Career Management Masterclass. So Donovan sent me his resume and it looked really good. But one thing that I noticed is that there could be some, an improvement to the way that you use the, your personal information at the top of the template. So this vlog is especially relevant for people who are in relatively technical roles. All right, so basically you'll notice that at the top of the template you have these links, like your LinkedIn profile, your telephone number, etc. And so Donovan has this great website where he shows off the stuff that he's built, which is exactly what Nick Livingston, who is a former technical recruiter and now the co-founder of Honeit, told us when he was interviewed for the career hacking course. So make sure that you check out that interview if you haven't already seen it. But basically, what you can do is, in addition to or maybe instead of your LinkedIn profile, you might want to do things on your technical resume like put your GitHub link or maybe your personal website. But here's a hack. Rather than titling it your personal website, I might do something like title this Donovan's Coding Lab. Because if the recruiter's eyes scan over to this contact information section of your resume and see that you have a coding lab as one of the first things that they see on your resume, then you're going to be more positioned in their minds as a coder, right? They're going to say, man, this guy's got a coding lab. That's exactly the kind of candidate that we want. Or this girl's got a coding lab. You know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure that you're positioning yourself throughout your resume, but especially on the top as a developer. Do you have any questions? If you do, let me know in the comments or submit your hacks for your technical resume.